Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen jump search algorithm in detail with an example. In this video, we will be looking into jump search algorithms implementation at a glance. Before watching this video, I will recommend you to go and watch my previous video on the detailed explanation of jump search algorithm. Now let's have a quick recap. The first step is to assign the first element as the current element. Then we need to compute the jump size by the formula square root of the length of the array. Next, we need to check whether the current element is greater than the element to be searched or not. If not, then we need to jump jump size ahead. If they are equal, then we need to return the position and stop. And if the current element is actually greater than the element to be searched, then we need to move to step four. And step four says that we need to move backward one by one and compare every current element with the element to be searched. If they are equal, then we need to return the current position and stop. If they are not equal, then we need to move backward by one. And finally, you will find the element. This is how jump search algorithm works. Now let's quickly look at how to implement jump search in Python language from scratch. So to implement jump search, I am defining a function named jump search with the parameter array and the element to be searched. Note that jump search only works for the sorted data. Therefore, I am defining a sorted array of six elements. If you are not having a sorted array, then you can sort it easily by just referring to my playlist on sorting. There I have explained different techniques on how to sort any random unsorted array with simple examples and hands on implementation. So please check that out. Next, I will call the function jump search with the parameter array, which we define now. And let's say we need to search for the element 100. Now let's write the logic for the jump search algorithm. So as per the algorithm, the first step is to compute the value of the jump size. Now jump size can be calculated by simply taking square root of the length of the array. Length of the array can be computed by len function. And for finding the square root, you can use any inbuilt library or you can simply write double star bracket one by two. Now, once we get the jump size, next step is to define the current position. Now, let's define a variable current with the value zero. Next step is to iteratively compare the current element with the element to be searched. Now, here I'm using a while loop which will run until the current element is lesser than the element to be searched. Now, in the case when the current element is lesser than the element to be searched, that means the element is lying on the right hand side. Now, in this case, we need to jump ahead by jump side steps. Now, before jumping ahead by jump side steps, we need to check the condition whether the current position plus the jump size is greater than the length of the array minus one. Now, just imagine if the current position plus the jump size is greater than the length of the array, then obviously the element is not going to be present at that location since array is of fixed size. Now, if such situation arise, then we will set the current element position as the length of the array minus one. That means the last index. Now, if the current position plus the jump size is not exceeding the length of the array, then we can clearly set the current position as current plus jump size. That means we are incrementing the current location by the jump size steps. Now, once this entire while loop gets executed, the current variable will contain the position of the element, which is immediately greater than the element to be searched. Now, as per the algorithm, once we find such position, then we need to move backward. Now for moving backward and comparing one by one with the element to be searched, we will define a for loop, which will move backward from the current position one by one. So for I in range, now the range function is taking three parameters, current, that means the starting point, and it will move till current minus jump size position. And the third parameter is minus one. That means it is going to move one step backward. Now, after moving one step backward, we need to compare the current element with the element to be searched. If they are equal, then we need to return the position of the current element. 
otherwise we need to again move backward by the end of this function if the element is actually present inside the array then the element will get found if not then we will simply return that the element is not present inside the array hence it is not found this is how you can implement jump search algorithm now we are done with the implementation of the algorithm now let's check whether our code is actually giving the expected results so yes you can see that the element is found at index 3 which is actually correct now let's say we need to check for the element 545 which is actually not present inside the array so let's see whether our code is able to handle such situations or not so yes you can clearly see that the code has given the output as element not found therefore our code works perfectly well time complexity of jump search algorithm is big o of square root n I hope you have understood the entire flow of the code. You can find the entire code in the description box. Post your queries and suggestions in the comment section. For more such videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.